praise the Lord, somebody. Welcome everybody who is tuning in. Hallelujah. Let's tap on the screen. Let's invite those that need to be on the broadcast this morning. Let's invite everybody on our YouTube, on our Facebook channels, on our timelines. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Sokotia basunda labaya. Shakuria basata kadie bishikiti. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for every single person that is coming in. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are tuning in from, whatever time zone that you are in. Let's all just quickly share the live broadcast uh, with everybody that needs to be on this broadcast this morning. Welcome to Protocol Breaking Prayers. Hallelujah. I'm equally doing the same thing. Hallelujah. Capadonna, I see you. PK Perfect, I see you. Let us know where you are tuning in from where are you tuning in from where are you watching me from hallelujah hallelujah somebody hallelujah father we give you praise we give you honor and adoration we glorify you because you are god we thank you lord that you have given us a life of dominion and this morning lord as we venture out into your word oh god that we are going into a deeper state of dominion in jesus mighty name welcome jamaica in the house hallelujah welcome to those who are from jamaica in the mighty name of jesus christ holy spirit we thank you we thank you for everybody Capadonna from South Africa, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Good morning from Kenya. Hallelujah. Nations are gathered. Amen, somebody. Nations are gathered in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to depopulate hell and we are going to populate heaven in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. Hallelujah. Those of you on Facebook, I'm just waiting on you, um, but I know that you're going to be soon rolling in. Amen. Hallelujah. Who's ready to dominate this morning? As you are coming in, please type on the comment section, dominate, dominate, dominate. Today we are speaking about the anointing for dominion. Hallelujah. This is where the spirit of the Lord is leading us this morning. The anointing to dominate. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm ready if you're ready. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Good morning, Gundo. It's good to see you. My glasses are already getting cloudy, so let me take them off. Hallelujah. But I've seen reason to put them on these days because I've been looking at the screen for way too long. But the Lord is is faithful and the Lord will perfect all things. Hallelujah. Let me just make sure that everybody from Facebook now can see me. Everybody from YouTube can see me. Hallelujah. We are ready to roll. Somebody type in the comment section, dominate the anointing for dominion, the anointing for dominion. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be for you too long today. So make sure that you are catching up and we are rolling the anointing for dominion. Today we are setting ourselves up for a life of dominion. We are setting ourselves up for the life of dominion. Make sure you are tapping on that screen and make sure you are dominating. Okay. You dominate with your comments. You dominate with your amen. You dominate with those likes. Talk to me, somebody. Let's get going and cracking on the word of God. Psalm 72 verse eight says he shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river unto the ends of the earth. You will have dominion everywhere. Anna says, I'm on fire. I'm ready to dominate. I'm receiving the anointing for dominion today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm on fire for Jesus. 316 Life says, I'm anointed for dominion. I am anointed for dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Doc Ndabezita, you are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hallelujah, somebody. Father, we thank you for this time of fellowship. We thank you for the word that is about to go forth. We thank you for the prayers that are about to go forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The book of the Bible says, when we go to Genesis chapter, um, let me see which one we're going to now. Um, are we going to read just um, three verses from Genesis? Hallelujah. I just lost my place for a minute there. Hallelujah. Let me go back. Genesis chapter one, verses 24 to 30. That's where we are going, saints. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter one, verses 24 to 30. The Bible says, then God said, let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kind, according to the livestock, according to the crawling things and wild animals of the earth, according to their kinds. It was so. So whatever God said, he says, let the earth bring forth. Hallelujah. So let the earth bring forth 
whatever it needs to give you as well. Hallelujah. The earth will bring forth and you will dominate and you will be fruitful. Amen. Let's keep tracking. Verse 25 says, so God made the wild animals of the earth according to their kind and the cattle according to their kind and everything that creeps and crawls on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good, pleasing, and he affirmed and sustained it. Hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, God saw it and it said it was good. God created me and you and he looked at us and he said it was good and perfect. Everything was complete the way it was supposed to be. Hallelujah. And God continued to sustain it. God continued to maintain it. And God had to hand it over to us at some point. Hallelujah. And God trusts us that we are going to dominate and we are going to maintain his creation. Hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, I'm anointed for dominion. I'm anointed for dominion this morning. Anointed for dominion. I am dominating. Hallelujah. We track further. Verse, verse 26 says, then God said, let us make men in our image according to our likeness. Um, hallelujah. And, um, so God created man in his own image, in the image and likeness of God. He created him male and female. He created them. Verse 28 is my focus area that I wanted to quickly jump to. He says, God blessed them, granting them certain authority. So God blessed us and he gave us the authority. He gave us dominion. That is what the scripture says. And he said to them, be fruitful, multiply and fill the earth and subjugate it. Put it under your power. Put it under your control. Put it under your rulership. Put it under your dominion your dominance that when you're dominating something it means that thing can never rise above you that thing cannot control you that thing cannot dictate how your life is it is because you are now in rulership you are the king you are the queen you are the king on the queen of the jungle where you are whatever environment whatever atmosphere in your household in your business you are the king and the queen of that place hallelujah you are the one who is dominating things are not supposed to dominate you but you are supposed to dominate the things there is nothing that is created on this earth that is supposed supposed to dominate and be above you, but you are ordained to be dominating. Hallelujah. You are ordained to have dominance over every single thing. Anything that affects you, whether it is emotion or whether it is whatever it can be, it is not above you. Talk to me. Somebody say, I'm anointed to dominate. Hallelujah. Make sure you are commenting in the comment section. You are declaring it. I'm anointed for, for domination. Hallelujah. I am dominating. Hallelujah. We have the anointing for dominion this morning. So this is an instruction. This is a prophetic word from verse 28 of Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says, God blessed us. God empowered us. Me and you who's listening to this uh, broadcast this morning. He gave us the authority. He told us to be fruitful. He told us to multiply. He told us to replenish the earth. So we, we, we don't only find it the way or we don't leave it the way we found it, but whatever you find, you must grow it. Hallelujah. That, that means even people that enter your life, they must grow you. Hallelujah. You must expand. You must, you must become better. You must progress. Anybody that you associate with, anybody that is your friend must lead you to a point where you are growing. Hallelujah. Somebody say to your neighbor, I am dominating. Hallelujah. I'm dominating in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. PK says, I am dominating in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He put you under, he said, you subdue the earth. You subdue everything, animals, everything, fishes under the sea. You are in control. You are in control. No demon is in control, but you are above. I am dominating. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. So we understand from this scripture that dominion is the birthright of a child of God. Hallelujah. Dominion simply means to rule over. Dominion means that you are conquering. Dominion means you are subduing. Dominion means you are in control. Hallelujah. Talk to me, somebody. Let's track together. We are created to control circumstances. Circumstances are not meant to control us. Talk to me, somebody. Today, we are taking charge over circumstances. We are taking charge over our world. We are taking charge over every Everything that is in our atmosphere or our sphere of influence in the name of Jesus Christ. No more will you suffer oppression in the hands of the devil again. Hallelujah. As you are declaring, I'm dominating. You cannot suffer oppression in the hands of the devil again. As from today, we declare and we decree that we shall reign in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the beginning, when God created mankind, the Bible has just showed us that he gave us the dominion over the earth and everything that was on the earth. But men soon lost that dominion 
because of ill discipline, because of not following the word of God. And that will not be our portion in Jesus name, because today we are declaring that we are dominating. We are following the prophetic word. We are following the prophetic instruction in the name of Jesus Christ, because men had lost control and the dominion over to the devil. As a result, man was being dominated by the devil from the time Adam until Christ came. So when Jesus came, he came to turn things around. He came to turn things over. He came to take charge of that dominion. He took that dominion back and he gave it to us. He said, if you are Christ, if you call yourself a Christian, you are God's anointed. I am calling you mine. I'm giving you what is inside of me. And what is inside of me, it is domination. Talk to me, somebody. Tell your neighbor, I'm dominating. Hallelujah. Thanks God to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If he did not come and restore us, I don't know where we would we have been. But thank the Lord Jesus Christ for coming and restoring us that we have dominion. What he did on the cross was a flawless exchange of destiny. He made sure that we get our dominion destiny back. Tell somebody, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'm dominating. Hallelujah. Ooh, it's suddenly so hot in here. So by his burial, by his death and burial and resurrection, Jesus restored us to dominion. Jesus restored us to dominion. Hallelujah. He gave us what we can use against the devil. Gundo, you are dominating. Laura, you are dominating. Hallelujah. Kalimelang, you are dominating in the name of Jesus. Nwai, you are dominating in the name of Jesus. Today, every single one of you who's listening to the sound of my voice, as you arose this morning, I'm here to reassure you and remind you that you have dominion through Christ Jesus. You have dominion over all devils. You have got dominion all over all powers, principalities. Hallelujah. You have dominion over them. Hallelujah. Through Christ, you have the authority to thread upon serpents and nothing shall by any means harm you. The scorpions cannot harm you as well. In the name of Jesus, everyone on earth needs a blessing. Every single person who rose this morning, nobody can tell me that they did not want the blessings of God. Nobody can tell me that they don't even want fresh, more blessings, more benefits to be loaded for them today. Hallelujah. You came this morning to declare to the Lord that, Lord, I need more blessings. I need more favor. You need joy to operate in your life. You need breakthroughs in your life. You need happiness in your life. You need a good home. You want peace in your home. Hallelujah. You want peace inside of you. But there is a condition that is attached to these good things. Hallelujah. All these good things that we want, there is a condition that is attached to it. And that is that we should dominate. Tell your neighbor again and confess it. I am dominating. Hallelujah. The condition of your good relationship and the connection which God with God determines what you will receive from God. So how connected you are with God will determine the extent of your dominance. It will determine the extent of what you will receive from God. Talk to me, somebody. God has promised us dominion over everything that has been created, yet... Men still find themselves living below the standard that has been set by God. And the question we should ask ourselves is why? Why am I living below the standard set by God? Somebody type why in that comment section. Why are we living below the standard that has been set by God when we are supposed to be dominating? Hallelujah. If, we, if you don't live below the standard of God, something... If you are living below the standard, you must ask yourself, why? 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 I need to live above. Hallelujah. You were created for dominion. You need to declare this dominion. Hallelujah. God has formed you for dominion. You have to receive dominion. Tell your neighbor, I'm dominating. Kasha katagiyaba. The day, child of God, that you understand this and you attach yourself to the one who created you, you attach yourself to the anointing of dominion. You will have dominion and you will manifest dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. The reason why believers are not having dominion is because they do not know the identity of dominion. They do not know the identity of dominion that God has given to them. They don't know their purpose. When you accept the conditions of failure and poverty, it means you don't know your place on earth. Let me say that again. If you accept 
poverty. If you accept failure and you think that it condition is okay, then you don't know your place on earth. You don't know your purpose. You don't know your dominion conditions. Hallelujah. You have dominion, child of God. You have dominion over negative dreams. You have dominion over witches and wizards. I was so shocked yesterday. Um, one of the moderators caught a, a, a testimony. Somebody said, since I started praying with you, I'm no longer having these funny nightmares. So that, that is just proof enough. Somebody yesterday on the broadcast gave that testimony. That your nightmares, things that have been tormenting you in the night, witches and wizards, you can be delivered from it just like that. This is somebody who said, I'm praying with you. I'm on this protocol breaking prayer altar. And definitely I will dominate. And they started dominating. Hallelujah. So you need to know that you have Christ inside of you. And when you have Christ inside of you, you have dominion. When you know that you have a, a, a dominion, you, what your right is, what your purpose is, you will be in charge. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Hallelujah. If you can work out your salvation, you will have dominion. The Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Hallelujah. Be in charge. I'm in charge. I woke up this morning. I'm the Lion of Judah. I woke up this morning. I'm sitting on the head of the devil. I'm in charge. Not only do I tread on serpents, but I'm in charge. You are in charge. Yes. I love it. Declare it. I'm in charge. Those who have dominion are champions. So if you want to be a champion in your life, know that you are in charge. If you know that you are a champion, you can never be imprisoned. Hallelujah. You can never be swallowed up by the challenges of life. You are in charge of the challenges. They must listen to you. The circumstances must listen to you. You are in charge. A man that is not disciplined, that eats anyhow, and a man that eats anyhow will never eat, have dominion. These are people who don't have control over their bodies, who don't want to even to fast. When you don't have control over what you eat, you become susceptible to the diseases of this world. When he has given you a specific diet to follow, not only a spiritual word diet, but we have been even given physical food to eat in the Bible. And when you don't respect the temple of God, it will start to break down. You are in charge. Why am I saying this? When you have a headache, I need you to know that you are in charge and you have dominion. You say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Come out right now. You need to rebuke. Munasha Kali Abasokoti Amasota. Congratulations, Manasha. Thank you so much for that testimony. They screenshotted it for me. Thank you so much. Thank you that the Lord that you has given you sleep. You are sleeping well now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Those who have dominion are champions. Be in charge of your body. In my training as a minister of God, I would be in a meeting until my past, my senior pastor tells me, I, I, I can't just leave the meeting and say I'm going to the toilet. To do what? I'm pressed. I must take permission first. Even if I don't get given permission, I will speak to my body. Some of you need to tell your bodies who is in charge, who has dominion. Who you, you tell your body, what are you doing? If you see symptoms that you don't want in your body, you are not supposed. I am made for divine health. I'm ordained for divine health. So spirit of whatever, high blood pressure, I rebuke you. Diabetes, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You shall come out. You don't have to wait. Until you see my face, so Figile, Nora, you are in charge. You need to speak to these things. I bought you with my car. You cannot break down car. I bought you with my money. And therefore you shall serve me. The things that God has given you in that are in your possession, you are supposed to rule over them. Oh Jesus. Nora, you are in charge. You are in charge. Things are not supposed to be falling apart around you. You must ensure that your yes is your yes and your no is your no. When you say yes to something and you allow it to happen in your life, you have said yes. Yes, you have been ordained for divine health in Jesus' mighty name. When you say no, it's a no. You are in charge. You are in control of your body. You are in control. Lust cannot overcome you. One thing that I learned is that people who cheat, they cheat, they make the decision to cheat. Anybody 
that is in a marriage relationship and they decide to cheat, you decided your yes was your yes. Your no was your no. You chose that path. So there is no such thing that somebody will say, I fell. What did you fall from? At which point, when you entered the house of the person, when you allowed the person to come in at that ungodly hour, what did you think was going to happen? Let's be realistic. I know some of you will run away when I start speaking about holiness. But do, to dominate, you're going to have to be in charge of your body. You're going to have to tame your lusts of the flesh. You're going to have to tame your tongue. You're going to have to tame your appetite to say there are certain things I will not eat. I will not defile my body. It's not only even about defiling the marriage bed, but I will not defile my body. I will not give myself to different men and different women, exchanging, having soul, uh, what do you call these things? Soul, um, um, soul, soul ties. I'm not going to create soul ties. I'm not creating unnecessary soul ties. I'm not going to create unnecessary inheritance of altars of this person that I don't know comes from where. And now suddenly you are battling demons of this person that you have had sex with. Talk to me, somebody. Kasha katakadia. Hallelujah. You need to understand that there are repercussions for every decision. There is a repercussion for your yes and there's a repercussion for your no. So that you understand that some of the reasons why your prayers are not being answered, why you are going around the same mountain, are because sometimes we self-sabotage ourselves over the wrong decision. Let your yes be a yes. Let your no be a no. To me, somebody. We, 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 we are wishy-washy, even in, in terms of, of relations. Today you are a gossiper. Tomorrow you are making as if you think, you, you think the Holy Spirit does not discern. You, don't, you think that other people cannot discern. You take, oh my God, I don't know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. But I'll go the Holy Spirit if you say we must go there. Some of you are ministers. You are a minister. And you climb that altar. And you, you say you are preaching Jesus. And you say you are preaching deliverance. What are you delivering? Which Jesus are you talking about? That you do not honor with your body. Your temple does. You cannot dominate your own body. But you want to have domin dominance over the world. You want to dominate. You want to be in charge. You want God to expand your territory. Which prayer is God going to answer? Oh, Shaka Diaba. Oh, Jesus. Somebody please come and put the camera on for, 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 for the people on YouTube and Facebook. We've lost the connection. Hey, just one second for me, please. So we need to be in charge of our bodies. We need to be in charge of what we decide. Let your yes be a yes. Let your no be a no. Understand that you are carrying a mandate for God. You are carrying a mandate for God. You execute that. The reason why power has left the body of Christ is because they have lost the honor of their bodies. That is why sometimes when people ask me, Pastor, pray for the restoration of my marriage. I ask certain questions. When I say inbox me, I want to get to the root cause. I'm tired of, of, of dealing with symptoms, praying for a temporary solution that somebody is going to come back into their house and come back to their wife or their husband. Why did they live in this pla first place? Was there a godly foundation that brought you two together? When you take somebody's husband away, do you think that you are going to last with them? Until when? So we pray and you make, ex you end up being exhausted because now you are asking yourself, what am I praying for? Now I'm beginning to doubt myself. Why are the prayers not being answered? Meanwhile, you know, you know that you have defiled the body. You have defiled the temple of God. You are the one that has defiled the marriage bed. Do not scroll out of this broadcast. Let me speak the truth so that we can dominate. Allow me, indulge me. I know every day I come here this every morning, I give you the good side. 
there is also the sword side, the sword. It's a double-edged sword because God also rebukes and also, God also corrects. Tell me if you still love him in the comment section. So now we, we are suffering because the, 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 the people are looking around and they're looking at us because they are saying, they are saying they're Christians. They're everywhere on TikTok. You scroll, you find them. They have all sorts of ways of doing things. But they do not represent the manual that they are speaking about. And calling themselves Christians, but they do not even set aside time to pray. They, they, are, they are calling themselves Christians, but they would rather put money before God. They, if, if, if it's prayer time, somebody will say, I would rather just go and make money and I will pray later. You, have, you, you think you have that indulgence to put God on pause? Do you know that, that Islamic people do not put their God on pause? When it's time for a Muslim to pray, they roll out that mat and they pray right there. But we as Christians think that we can flip-flop anytime we want. We can go out and sin and come back to God and, and demand and say, why is my life like this? When you are going to ask yourself that question and you say, God, why is my life like this? Make sure you are reminding yourself that you did not guarantee yourself. Your bond was not made. You, you, you did not honor your own bond. Everything is conditional. I have friends who are Muslims and they will tell you that I'm not a good Muslim. So when, when, when they call it, they say haram happens. They say, I expected it. Zippo, you love me. Thank you so much. Oh, those of you, I love you, Flora, who are carrying this oil, this, this mantle, this, this, this mandate, this calling, it is not easy. So imagine if it, I understand, I'm not even going to differentiate and say members have got a different level of, of honoring the word, but they, we should honor God on the altar and off the altar, in the pews as well. Honor God. Honor God in the pews. Why do you want your man of God or your woman of God to feel like their prayers are in vain and they are not helping you to succeed? Meanwhile, you know you are cohabiting. You are doing fat and set. You think that is okay. Some of you are too scared. You've been dating this person. You are sleeping. You are fornicating. And you don't want to ask them, when are you making me an honest woman or an honest? You, when are you marrying me? When are you coming to ask for my hand in marriage? You think it's, it's okay to live in sin. And, you, and, and, and you're not going to have challenges. Nora, you are set apart. You have to be set apart. There has to be a difference. That is why people that, you know, people will always say, oh, they are fake prophets. Blah, blah, blah. They are fake Christians. Only fake members will be subjected to fake prophecies. Fake Christians are subject to fake prophets because they don't learn the word of God. Some people have said, no, why do you always go into scriptures and teach the word before praying? I need you to know. Go and until such time you can read it by you read it by yourself even. Show yourself, study to show yourself approved. Don't rely on me. What if I'm lying? What if I misquote? Go and interpret it for yourself and apply it. That is there, there are churches where the pastor is the only person who opens the Bible. And I was shocked. I said, How is it possible? Who created that doctrine? People are subjected to the doctrines of men. You go to a church, they say the pastor is the one who's holding the briefcase and there's a Bible, nobody else. You are just doing whatever the pastor said. That is why some of you have been misled. You are in a unfertile ground. That ground you are in is unfertile. That church you are in is unfertile. It is not fertile ground because the word of God is not being preached. And when the word of God is being sugar-coated from the altar, this altar will burn today. You have come to be altered today. Your rebuke must go forth in Jesus' name. The reason why you are going, it's like you are in a spell. You are going around the circle. You're asking God. It is because you do not have the spirit of discernment to know that what is standing before you is a demon. You do not understand that the, the person that you keep on looking at, people are stuck and they say Christianity doesn't work. You've been going to the same place. Did you ever stop to go and on a fasting and prayer and say, God, why am I not progressing? Why are things the way they are in this church? Am I on fertile ground? 
running up and down to exchange your money, to exchange your destinies with people that you cannot discern that this one has strayed. Only if you do not have the Holy Spirit inside of you, you will not be able to discern. But when the Holy Spirit rise, resides inside of you, you have to be able to discern that this one, that one, spirit of divination, spirit of, you have to. Thank you, PK. It's rather you, you choose to surrender all or you just shift out now. Follow me before you decide to, to even run away. The altar must be cleansed. The altar must be cleansed. The Lord saying we are pleading for dominion. I hear you, you are crying for dominion fortune, but please ask, are they ready to exchange? Let us put away our filthy rags. Let us put away sin for once and for all. Do you understand that your life depends on it? Your children's lives depend on it. Your success depends on it. Are you not tired of praying empty prayers that do not bring results? Are you not tired of people mocking Christianity around us? They are saying that we don't have evidence. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. The evidence. Where is it? Where is the evidence? Jesus, you tiptoe, you are, you, are, you are choosing, you have other gods, you have other idols, you are touching this, you are touching that, you are doing a mixture and a concoction. Today you are burning this in your house. They say, I am dominating, I have the anointing for dominion. Do you? Do you really know you have it? Those of you that have lost the oil of dominion, may you receive it this morning again in Jesus' mighty name. As you truly come to the altar to repent today, may you truly receive it. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The altar must be cleansed so that we can dominate. We, 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 we tickle people. We tickle Christians' ears because we tell them what they want to hear. Nobody stays on the broadcast until you tell them that you're going to receive your car, you're going to receive your house. No! This thing is conditional. Hiya, baya. There is a way that seems right to a man, but the end of thereof is death. So all this time we are inflating ourselves. We keep on thinking that we have arrived and, 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 and we think that we are just going to do Christianity our way. We're going to give the way we want. We're going to have opinions and we're going to be sounding like people in the world. When we know we are supposed to be expanding the kingdom of God. Your pastor starts to talk about finances in church and you want to run. Devil is a liar. You have forgotten that God has called you to look after the widows and the poor. You have forgotten that God has called you to expand the kingdom. Some of you think that you've got the luxury to be going out there and living like the world. You want to go out there and live like the world and think that you've got time and to come back and say, okay, God, God, I'm back on your schedule, on your time frame. It don't work like that. Some of you who are being tormented, who are being told to go to initiation school to become uh, witch doctors or sangomas or juju priests, it's not tormentation from, from ancestors. You miss the mark. And you're not dominating. Then you fall for this calling and they tell you, go and initiate. Then you bring more suffering on you. And you blame the ancestors. The ancestors are sleeping off. There's no ancestor that is supposed to be tormenting anybody. Somebody once said that to me when I said, I don't understand what I said, but why should they torment me? Can't they just speak directly and, and just tell me that, okay, do this one. Why, why would somebody, if they say that you are being tormented by your grandmother's spirit or your grandfather or great grandfather's spirit, why? Didn't they love you? Why would they come to torment you? What says I put before you life and death. Choose life. This is how you serve me. Choose. You, we don't have to fight in the spirit realm. Let spirit speak. Why should there always be an angry spirit fighting you? Telling you to go and initiate. 
No, it is God correcting you. You are in the processing room. He's saying you are living below standard. You are not living at the dominance level. You forgot yourself. I gave you a prophetic word in Genesis 128. You are busy jumping up and down every conference. Every time you are hearing it, there is a prophet left side. There is a prophet in that city. You are rushing. You are wanting a different prophetic word. There is no other word. He said, I already spoke on Genesis 128. I already told you that you have to multiply, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. I already told you that you are dominating. Everything is under your control. Everything that I said after Genesis 20, Genesis 128, I just kept on telling you you are an overcomer. I told you that you are created for triumph. Everything, I kept on reinforcing you. I kept on telling you second witness, third witness. I kept on giving you evidence, thinking that your head will come straight. I kept on telling you that you can trample on serpents and you, that thing will harm you. But you keep on going back and playing with fire and you are wondering why you are being burned. And, and you, you're asking yourself, how can you at the same time say, I can trample on serpents, I can, it's a scorpion's poison will not harm me. But why am I behaving like a harmed person? You keep on fidgeting with death. You keep on playing with fire. Mm -hmm. The blood of Jesus will speak for you. We keep on playing with death. When you sleep with that married man, you keep on playing with death. You're doing it for money. You are desperate and you're saying, I'm in, I'm, I'm in poverty. It does not exonerate you. I know it might be tough to sleep on the street. I know it's tough to sleep under that bridge. I know it's tough that your, your fridge is currently empty right now. That you don't even have even an onion in that fridge. I know it's tough, but can you just hold on to God? Can you not go and sell your soul? Can you not go and sell your birthright? Tomorrow you will be crying and saying, things are coming out of my private parts. Tomorrow you will be saying, uh, I don't know, I, 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 I'm being tormented. I don't know what's going on. Meanwhile, your destiny was exchanged. Somebody used you for rituals. Chikalabaya. Hey, let the blood of Jesus speak for you, Miss M. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I am dominating. The anointing for dominance. Father, we thank you for the anointing for dominion. Mm, 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 mm. Let us align. When you are disciplined, you will experience the dominion of God. When you are, when you are disciplined, you will experience dominion. For a man to live a life of dominion, you need God to deliver you. You need God to deliver you from the sin that you are in. You need God to deliver you from taking shortcuts, man of God, woman of God. You cannot preach from experience. You have to preach from what is inside of you. You cannot cut corners. We can't rebuke you. Let the word rebuke you. Let the one who called you penetrate your spirit man and speak to your heart so that you come right before you lead many to death. Many who are unpopular are the ones who are not followed. Those who are speaking truth are not followed. They are not listened to. But people are attracted to the fleshy things. You want that fleshy church. You don't ask. You don't inquire. You just go, you just run. No spirit of discernment. Tomorrow you have a spirit of masturbation pursuing you. But who laid hands on you? That is my question. Who laid hands on you? Your marriage was perfectly fine. You consulted with somebody. Somebody laid hands on you. Who laid hands on you? Which spirit did you go and contact? Running up and down. It's not every invitation we say yes to. Not every invitation. Man of God, when, when, when did you have to go and call around? Can I come and preach on your pulpits? Kashakatakaya. The God who called you is the one who gave you members that will follow you. The God who called you is the one that will give you an audience that is ready for the message that he gave you that you are carrying. You don't have to go and beg for altars. You don't have to go back for pulpits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. 
Oh, anointed. We shall not. Today, knowledge is being released. Nobody is going here and saying a knowledge was not released. Mina, I will speak the truth for now. Some of you are carrying burdens because you are married to people that are covenanted to the devil and your prayers seemingly in vain. They don't believe what... The, the thing you don't believe in cannot help you guys. If you don't believe in it, it cannot help you. Kasha katakadia. They, they, they have the audacity when you go to church, when you go and pray. Today you woke up and say, yeah, go, go, as long as you pray for me. Huh? Are you a courier service that you are just taking on prayer requests? Why don't they come and pray? Some people will come once on the broadcast. Let me tell the truth. And they will leave and they will send an inbox. They say, oh yeah, pray for me. And they give you their list and they are gone. And right now they are sleeping. And see, now we are supposed to be interceding. I'm supposed to intercede all day. And then they go back to their life nicely. Rolling up and down from the king size bed, from left to right. Some of them go back to their fornication life. Some, some of them go back to, 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 to cohabiting. Some of them, they, so let me understand this. When you are praying a prayer and you are married or you are dating a married person and you're not married to that person, which God is supposed to answer that? God must go and break up that marriage because that is your true, true husband or your true wife. A am I communicating somebody? Must God break up that union so that you can be the replacement? And that prayer point must be the one that comes to pass. God is not mocked, guys. Let us charge, let us cleanse the altar so that the anointing for dominion can happen. Kaohelo, the Lord will speak this morning. The reason why people are the way they are and why their lives are the way they are currently is because they have submitted themselves to the authority of the devil. When you allow that addiction, when he tells you, I told you subdue the earth, you have dominion over your addictions. You can tell your addiction, stop. Why would you want to allow an addiction? You know this thing is killing you, right? You know that nicotine is killing you and you're allowing it. It's okay. Let me smoke. I'm, I'm, it's my, my life, Moses, my lungs, I'm going. The devil is a liar. You know that addiction is eating at your liver, but you want to continue it. And you want to say you have dominion. Tomorrow when you have complications in your health and you say, but I was praying, I was on protocol breaking prayers. Please do not, do not lie to God though. When God holds you to account, do not lie. I speak right here from my living room. In South Africa, wherever you are, you will dominate if you get discipline in your life. The word has already been sent out. Thou shalt dominate. You are in dominance. You are in dominion. The anointing for dominion. When you understand the anointing for dominion, everything has to bow at your feet. Kayaba. Those who live a life of dominion never lack children of God because your mentality would have been tuned already from Genesis 1, 28. If, if you didn't read any other book in the Bible, as long as you read Genesis 1, okay, let's just read one chapter, Genesis 1, verse 28. If you just make it to verse 28, and your mind is now retuned and it's penetrated to the fact that you have domination. You are in dominion. You understand that when you wake up and you go to your workplace, you say, I have dominion. I have the anointing for dominion. The anointing for dominion automatically means promotion is your portion. When promotion is your portion, your mindset starts looking at how do I get promoted? When your mindset is in tune with the anointing of dominion, it automatically says, okay, what are the skills I need to work on? What is the talent that I need to develop? What are the potentials that I need to birth out? Bless, uh, blessings to all those who are giving. The anointing, if you just, just accept, if you just stop on verse 28 and just pray verse 28, just that one. 
Even if you had to pray for it, the whole pray on it the whole month and you just meditate on it. There is no, you don't need a psychologist, you don't need a psychiatrist, you don't need a, a life coach, you don't need a business coach. They will it, that verse will transform your mind to say, if I don't see fruitfulness around my life, I need to check whether I'm still on the same standard that God called me. If you have been praying for the same prayer point for three, ten years, praying that this man is going to marry you, you are still praying that he's going to leave his wife. The devil is a liar. You understand that that does not align with verse 28. There's no fruitfulness there. Oh. There's no multiplication of anything there. The only thing that is multiplying is that you're having children of outside marriage. The only thing that is multiplying is, the, is your problems of maintenance. That you're not going to be able to afford to maintain these kids. You cannot be sleeping around and, and dis defiling the temple of God. And, and, and you are bearing children from different fathers or different mothers. And you want the same God. Sudden, you don't have responsibility over your children. You don't take responsibility. You don't support them. And you are the same person who wants to come back to God. You will dominate by force. Those of you who are following me, you will dominate by force. Those of you on Mara Official, you will dominate by force. Everybody who's on Facebook and YouTube, you will dominate by force. You will dominate. Thank you, Sandy. God bless you. You must dominate and stop making a mockery of Christianity. Stop making people wonder what is going on with us. We are bringing children and, 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 and it's, it's, it's become normal to, to, to be part of dysfunction. We cannot understand and separate a, a dysfunctionality in our lives. Everything. It, it, it cannot be that we are arguing about the government. We are saying, oh, we have now gotten used to load sharing. We've gotten used to that. We've, we are so used to dysfunction in our life that we don't, we, we just accept. Anytime when there's something good happens, that's when we are thinking that is the no, it's, it's out of the ordinary. It should be normal that we should have good things. It should be normal that we have leadership that makes sure that we have good streets, that makes sure that we have good health and all these things. It should be normal, not the absent. You bring children into the world. Every single time you, you, you meet somebody and you fall pregnant. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the other people who don't listen to God. And who don't want to repent. If you are that person and you have made error, please understand me. Repentance is available. When you come back to God and say, God, I'm sorry. I understand this thing is not working. So these children that I've already given birth to, help me to raise them. Help me to raise them. I understand that this lifestyle that I was living cannot be sustainable. Am I communicating? Oh my God, time is fast spent. I need to move. You, you come to God and apologize. I want to rebuke that, that young person that is still coming up. We've gone through this era so that we don't have to, you don't have to make the same mistakes that I did. You don't have to make the same mistakes that the person next to you who you are seeing their name did. That is why we bring our experience on the table and tell you, this thing doesn't work. I've counseled enough people to, to know that there are certain things that, yes, repentance is key, Patsy. If you don't repent from them and you don't change from them, that thing, affliction will be your daily portion. You will not experience domination. You need to dominate. Ask yourself, to, to what end? Your life is just about going to the courts to go ask for money for maintenance for your children. Why, why did you not wait on God to create the right environment? Ah, Flora. I even feel pain just to say these things. But we must correct. We must tell the truth. Even for our upcoming children, our upcoming daughters, we need to tell them. And we need to talk to the men that are coming up in society and, and, and help them understand that young men, our nations are falling apart because you are not taking your, your place as a father. You are not taking your place to be in charge. Men are not in charge of where God has put them. And then you want to blame somebody and say, it is Eve that made me fall. No. Salvation is personal. Salvation is personal. You want domination over affliction. Take your place. You want to be respected as a man. Take your place and be in charge. Stop spreading your seed that you cannot afford. 
You cannot have, why, why are you doing polygamy when you know you cannot support these women? Who is supposed to support your children for you? You are spreading your seed anyhow. Africa, hey, not even Africa alone, because this is everywhere. Men, take your place. Take your place. Stop behaving like women. You are not a woman, you are a man. Every country has got its issues, issues. Hey, I don't want to go into that message. We will go into it. Different curses plaguing different territories that are holding back Christians. And we just think that we are going to be like sadistical and live like anybody. The devil is a liar. As you came up this morning and you came onto this broadcast, you must dominate. The anointing of dominion must touch you. The anointing of repentance must first deal with you in the name of Jesus. You, 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 you clap hands, you go to church and hey, hallelujah, hallelujah, Sunday. Monday, you are living in sin without favor. You know, you're just doing anyhow. I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. Nobody is joining this Christianity of yours. Why? So dominion is to live beyond the normal basic standard. It's not about qualifications and degrees. Thank you, Flora. It is dominion beyond your certificates, your graduation certificates. It is about the anointing of God that promotes you to your right to be uh, 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 the, the creation that is in domination. It's a right. You have it as a right. But people who have rights can only enforce them if they are good standing citizens. Oh, bless you, my darlings. You can't enforce rights if you are not in good standing. People who don't enforce, who are not in good standing, they're in jail. They're in captivity. So anytime you find yourself in captivity and you are not exercising your rights of dominion, God is trying to tell you something that mm -mm, you have given in to the witches and wizards. You have given in to the principalities and powers. You have given in to your lustful flesh. Hey, Kaya Basata. Christantia, I love you. Hallelujah. Those who know their value, those who know their purpose will walk in the light of the anointing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What can bring you out of the hardship that you are in and, 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 and to live in dominion is the sword of deliverance. The sword of deliverance that God has just positioned me today. I don't know why I deviated. This was not in my structure of how I wanted to deliver it. But the Lord said the sword of deliverance must come and deliver them first so that they can come out of their hardships. When the sword cuts you off from these things, there's a gap. When, the, when you allow the sword to cut off these things, you can come into your dominion. Allow the sword to cut off fornication, children of God. Allow the sword to cut off every single form of sin in your life. It's not worth your destiny. It's not worth making my voice to go. Every day I pray here and I'm wondering what is the blockage. I have to tiptoe because you might just unfollow me. It's a lie. If you like, unfollow me. Holiness. My people shall be holy. Sword of deliverance, work on me. Somebody comment there. Sword of deliverance, cut off anything you don't want. Jesus, cut off anything you don't want from me. You see, when the numbers go down, I know they don't want to hear about holiness. They want to hear me telling them that there's miracle money in their bank account. Kayaba. The day the Israelites cried to God, God visited their land. He visited their land with the sword of deliverance and the sword of deliverance passed through that land and they were freed. The sword of deliverance is passing through your house right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When the sword of deliverance fights for you, you will get to your promised land. Somebody shout to your neighbor, I'm going to my promised land. I will get to my pro promised land. The sword of deliverance must work for me. It must work for me in Jesus' mighty name. It must cut off what, they, what it doesn't want from me. God must cut off what I don't want. God must cut off my enemies. God must cut off my lust, my, everything that is tempting me. Cut it off, Lord. Cut it off. Mm. 
I once heard a testimony Bishop T.D. Jakes once said, he says, when the day I decided to stop smoking, I did not do a transition and say, I'm smoking one cigarette now a day. He says it happened in the flesh like that. One day he said, I'm stopping now. And that's it. There was a grace and an anointing for it. So you don't have to transition anything. It's not a transition. It's you deciding today, this morning, that I've had enough hardships. I've had enough. Today, I cut it off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's not even a network problem. Nobody's falling off. My network is just fine. Just in case you think of trying to scroll out and you will send me a message later and say, sorry, my, my network failed. It did not fail. Today, the anointing network will get you. The anointing for dominion network, you are receiving it in the name of Jesus Christ. The day that sword of deliverance fights for you, you will get to the promised land. But Omeos was at the junction of life, begging. But when he understood, he saw that Jesus Christ was dominion himself. He was passing through. And he said, son of, man, son of God, have mercy on me. He said, there's no time. He was healed. He was transformed right there on the spot. So our protocol breaking prayers for dominion will empower you to subdue your enemy. They will empower you to overcome the enemy. Every power that is trying to resist your anointing for dominion. Right now, I scatter it by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Kayaba. Oh, Father, let's close and pray. Time is gone. Father, as we pray today. We begin to take control over the powers that have been controlling our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, begin to speak in tongues. Begin to take control over things that have taken control over your life in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life today, your days of crying are coming to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Your days of sinning have come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your days of poverty lack are over in the name of Jesus Christ. As you receive the anointing for dominion this morning, right now, on this altar of protocol break, Breaking prayers. No devil will dominate you ever again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray these prayers uh, right now that we are praying right now. Pray along with me, please. Do not get distracted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, help us to be disciplined in every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we come to you. Oh Lord, we declare that you are our deliverer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, your arm is, is, is sore, your left hand. I speak to the pain. That person who's got you, you've got pain here. On your left shoulder here, just next to the neck. Father, I command healing. And here on your joints right now, the Lord is stretching out your joints. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to your veins right now. Somebody has got a vein problem. Your veins, you've been diagnosed with a vein condition. And somebody on here, your nerve. Receive the healing of God right now in Jesus' mighty name. Sorry, guys, I needed to do that. Otherwise, I won't be able to continue. I I, I have this. You understand, Mos. Hallelujah. My father, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for deliverance for everybody who has come into this broadcast this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that you have come to deliver us. You have come to deliver our families. You have come to deliver our ministry. You have come to deliver our careers in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare that there is deliverance on our finances in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You have come to deliver us from the wicked hand of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. We receive the anointing for headship in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we call the anointing of headship to fall upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against anything that is a satanic work that has been separating us from the sword of deliverance. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that the sword of deliverance has come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to deliver those who are sick in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, those who have been stagnant, those who have been experiencing delay in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that, Lord, you have illuminated their eyes to see what is the issue that they have been dealing with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, lift up our heads, oh God, above always in the name name of Jesus Christ. Let our heads be lifted up. Let us not forget that you have made us the head and not the tail. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us not forget that we are above and not beneath. Let us not forget that we are in charge, oh God. Let us not forget that we are leaders, oh God, that we are trendsetters, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we refuse to live a life of borrowing. We refuse to live a life of poverty. We refuse to live a life of begging in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anointing for dominion. Baptize every area of my life. That is our prayer right now. Come on, keep on repeating it with me. I know.
anointing for dominion baptize every area of my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father I receive the anointing for dominion let it baptize every area of my life right now 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 in the name of Jesus I receive the anointing for dominion let it baptize every area of my life anointing for dominion let it baptize you every area of your life you will not borrow anymore you will not be going to those machines anointing for dominion baptize every area of my life anointed for dominion I'm anointed for dominion keep on declaring father we declare and we decree and we rose this morning together together in fellowship and in prayer with you with with all of the saints this morning father God we thank you that your presence is in our midst in the mighty name of Jesus Christ those of you on Facebook and YouTube you are in touch with us in in the name of Jesus Christ father we thank you Lord as we are created in the image and likeness of God, we declare this morning that we have dominion over all the earth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have dominion of all the, all the earth and everything that is in it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have the anointing of dominion. We declare and we decree this morning that we subdue the earth in dominion. You will subdue the earth in dominion. You will subdue everything around you in dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. As you tap into this prayer and you tap into the anointing that is on this altar right now, the Lord is releasing the full extent of your dominion in the mighty name of Jesus nothing broken nothing missing you will not be missing anything the lord is saying my 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 full dominion is being released to you right now in the mighty name of jesus christ i decree and declare that your life is now constructed and governed by god and the life that you are living from today you will begin to experience the dominion of god everything concerning your life it is constructed and governed by god in the name of jesus christ in dominion god is establishing your kingship god is establishing your priesthood in the mighty name of jesus christ i wish you could Shout a believing amen in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will build in dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. That house that you have been meaning to build. The Lord says, I must tell you that you will build it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in dominion. He says, I must remind you, you have dominion. You have the finances and the capital. You will build in dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that you will have dominion in the morning, in the evening, in the noontime, every, every time, all around, during the sun, the moon, everything, the stars, everything is aligned to work with you. You have dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rabba Shekali Yamasunda. I wish you could shout a believing amen. I wish you could shout a believing amen. I wish you could type in that comment section. I have dominion. I have dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. I decree and declare over everybody who's at the sound of my voice this morning that they have dominion over all bondages caused by their enemies and I break their yokes of their necks in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, break every single yoke of my, of my neck in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have dominion, oh God. We will not be in bondage in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and we declare that we have dominion over nobility and those that are mighty to do evil. We have dominion over them. They are shall not going to take us over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we decree and declare that like Solomon, we have dominion over kings uh, and we have peace all around us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we thank you, Lord, uh, to the full extent of our dominion shall be known to men and eh, Kaliya Masonda, to principalities and powers. The full extent of our dominion shall be known everywhere we go in the name of Jesus. Both men and devils shall never be able to steal our dominion. I said both men and, 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 and the devil shall never steal your dominion. Nobody can steal it. No spirit can seal it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree you are established full territorial dominion for you from my left the side to the, to, the, to the right hand side. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus, receive full extent of territorial dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. You will exercise wise government in your dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We are building in dominion. We decree and declare that things that are under my dominion shall never be able to revolt against us in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will revolt against your dominion. Nothing will, 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 will coexist with your dominion. Only your dominion will prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord. We decree and declare that you will reveal to us the ordinances of heaven, O oh God, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that as your word has gone forth, Lord, that you have released and you have taught us how to establish our full dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. On this earth realm, we declare and we decree that we have dominion. We have the, the, uh, dominion in the spirit realm. We have dominion in our dreams in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Oh, Makaya Masata Kalia Masunda, Fakalia Masota Kadi Mesende, Ela Kasunda, Diamasunda. Father, sin have, has no dominion over us. 
we will not be presumptuous, oh God, that we are not sinners, oh God. Therefore, this morning, Lord, we rise to repent and say, forgive us as our sins, oh God. In the name of Jesus, may you be refined indeed in the name of Jesus. Oh, refining fire. Hey, we do not despise dominion. In the name of Jesus, we decree and we declare that we have dominion. We have that dominion, Lord, and we exert that power upon serpents. We exert that power upon scorpions. We exert up that power upon any power of the enemy or any poisonous thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that this morning as we rose and we gather today, you have taught us how to off effortlessly, or effortlessly overthrow Satan, oh God. Lord, from today, we will effortlessly overthrow Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Shakati Masonda, you have dominion over your dreams. You will not be tormented by nightmares anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Guys, some of you need to teach your family members how to war in the spirit. You need to teach them how to fight. Because some of them are being devoured while you are here. You know the truth now. Go and teach them again. Kala Masoka Takadia. A God of a thousand times more will give you testimony in the name of Jesus. Oh! the Lord has called you an overcomer. He says you will overcome as you take your place in dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm five minutes over time. Kalabaya. Father, we thank you, Lord, as we close in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you that every single person that is listening to the sound of my voice, I declare and decree that they are overcomers this month, O oh Lord. In this 31 days of grace and favor on day 25, O oh God, we are accelerating with the anointing of dominion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we will exercise dominion over every troubler. Everything that is troubling your life, exercise your dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. We command dominion and fear to rest upon the lot of our enemies. Let them tremble at our decrees this morning. Let them tremble at every prayer that we have prayed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be scattered by fire. Lord, put all things under me. I exercise my dominion. I exercise dominion over everything. I decree that every intruder coming to molest you today in the name of Jesus, I command it to be paralyzed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for territorial dominion. We thank you, Lord, that we are products and personalities of dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father, we, we thank you, Lord, that through this anointing of dominion that we are receiving this morning, we will exercise territorial dominion. We will have recognition of God. We will be recognized in the right houses, in the right offices, in the right tables where big things are being discussed, oh God. Our names shall be mentioned in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People will respect where you are. Anytime you enter a room, you will carry the respect that you have. Your children will begin to respect you because they will see a change inside of you that you carry the anointing of dominion as you take your responsibility of who you are and who you're supposed to be in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, we thank you. Lord, we come against any confrontational powers of hell. Every enemy that has been challenging our authority before now, right now we command them that the fear of God will enter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Our authority will not be questioned in the workplace. As if you are a manager, your authority will no longer be questioned. You will not feel like even, they, even if they can gossip about you, they will know that you have restored yourself. The Lord has restored the anointing for dominion on you. In the name of Jesus, receive the dominion to operate as an overcomer in this month of May. You are going to operate as a dominion overcomer. Hallelujah. You are dominating. You have the anointing for domin dominion. Hallelujah. I must not be tongue-tied. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord has swallowed up all the forces of evil in Jesus' mighty name. Father, by the mantle, by the mantle of immortality in your humanity, in our humanity, we decree that we will not be rejected. We will be treated with respect anywhere we go. We will be treated with respect in every institution. That institution, some of you are going for, for, for consultations, for your visas and whatever it is, that place where you are going, they will treat you with respect in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We will live as overcomers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No Kaliya Masota Kaliya Basanda. We carry the divinity of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will operate in the matchless name of Jesus. We will operate in the matchless dominion that you have given us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Lord, I thank you for everybody that is tuned in this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, Lord, that we have taken power over anything that has been threatening us. Lord, we will not 
not be rejected. We will be respected in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you, Lord. We arise this morning to subdue every satanic force that has been fighting and resisting our destiny to come to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Congratulate somebody and tell them you are anointed for dominion. Hallelujah. Congratulate your neighbor. Tag your neighbor and say, congratulations, congratulations in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace for anointing for domination. Receive the anointing to dominate. Receive the grace to dominate in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace to dominate in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, thank you, Lord. I, I release congratulations on Facebook. I release congratulations on YouTube. I release congratulations on TikTok all around in the name of of Jesus Christ, the grace to overcome, the grace to dominate in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Guys, remember to make sure that you subscribe to the channel that you are following or you are watching from. Make sure you go to the profile. The same name that you see is the same name that you search on YouTube. Make sure you follow on YouTube and you can watch the replay of the broadcast of today's broadcast and make sure that you are um, praying along. Make sure that you do and follow the instructions. You will not be disappointed. God will make sure that you are never ashamed. God will make sure that you are never disgraced in the name of Jesus. Continue to experience grace and favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for our partners, our ministry partners, those who are partnering financially as well in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you and increase you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, guys. I love you so much. All of you on uh, Facebook and YouTube, you know I say goodbye to you first because I have to switch off on the server, but I love you so much. I love you. Go out and conquer. You are awesome. Hallelujah. Congratulations to you. Amen.